Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I thought I'd share with you guys my top three tips for getting better sleep while using your Android phone. Perfect for those of you like me who struggle to get to sleep and then end up aimlessly browsing YouTube. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests or suggestions. So the three tips that I'm going to share will help reduce your eye strain, increasing your melatonin levels and also help you better manage your sleep cycle. So let's start things off with a feature that comes baked within most newer Android smartphones. The blue light filter. Exposure to blue light actually suppresses the release of melatonin within our brain. Now this is perfect during the daytime when you actually need to stay awake. But exposure at night means that we end up with lower quality sleep and suffer from more frequent sleep related issues. So by using a blue light filter, you'll actually be able to block out and control the level of blue light being emitted by your phone's display. But don't worry, if your phone doesn't come with this feature automatically, you can grab yourselves one of the many third party apps from the Play Store for similar results. Personally, I like to set the filter level to the maximum and schedule it to turn on automatically at night from 10pm. Now this isn't going to put you to sleep all by itself, but it's definitely going to bring you another step closer. Now my second tip would be to grab yourselves a pixel filter app from the play store. Now unlike the blue light filters, these pixel filters work by applying an overlay of black pixels on top of your phone's display. Meaning that less of your phone's pixels will be turned on, potentially reducing your phone's battery consumption, but more importantly, reducing the amount of light emitted by your phone, straining your eyes. So if you often use your phone in the dark, make sure you give this a try. Now there's quite a few of these screen filter apps out there to choose from, but personally I like to use Pixel Filter as it comes with a large array of customization options and even with a nifty feature to fight against screen burn. But as an alternative, check out the app Darker. Next up, my third and final tip which a lot of people love to use are sleep monitoring apps. They allow you to measure the quality of your sleep by giving you information like how long you were in deep sleep for and even how often you snored. So if you're really struggling to get to sleep, make sure you give these a try. And to help you guys out, here's a list of the most popular apps worth checking out. If you guys want me to go in more detail about these apps or even review them, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget, if you want more Android customization tips and tricks, make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests or suggestions. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.